Hello and welcome back my friends. Today we have another video with the civics questions ordered by topic. This is one of my favorite ways to do the civics questions because it's an excellent way to help your brain organize and remember all this information. So we hope you agree, stay with us, and let's get started with the U.S. flag. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there are 50 states. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The United States, or you can also say the flag. So the United States or the flag. What is the name of the national anthem? The national anthem. The Star Spangled Banner. The Star Spangled Banner. And if you notice, that is the flag. Star Spangled Banner. Moving on to the colonial period and independence. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? American Indians, American Indians or Native Americans, either way. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Okay, a lot to choose from here and we chose Crow. You can choose any answer you would like. What is one reason colonists came to America? What is one reason colonists came to America? For freedom. Freedom. There were 13 original states. Name three. New Hampshire, New York, New Jersey. I chose all the news here. New Hampshire, New York, and New Jersey. Why did the colonists fight the British? Why did the colonists fight the British? Because of high taxes. Because of high taxes. What did the Declaration of Independence do? What did the Declaration of Independence do? It said that the United States is free. It said that the United States is free. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4th, 1776. July 4th, 1776. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? That was Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Life and liberty. Life and liberty. Who was the first president? George Washington. Who is the father of our country? George Washington. Very good. Now let's move on to the Constitution. What is the supreme law of the land? What is the supreme law of the land? 
the Constitution. The Constitution. What does the Constitution do? What does the Constitution do? It sets up the government. Sets up the government. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Constitution was written. When was the Constitution written? When was the Constitution written? 1787. 1787. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people. We the people. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. John Jay. John Jay. What is an amendment? What is an amendment? It's a change, a change to the Constitution. How many amendments does the Constitution have? How many amendments does the Constitution have? 27, 27. What do we call the first 10 amendments to the Constitution? What do we call the first 10 amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Speech. Speech. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Citizens 18 and older can vote. What is freedom of religion? What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? To print money. To print money. Now, under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? To provide schooling and education. What is the economic system in the United States? The economic system in the United States? It's a capitalist economy, a capitalist economy, <laughs> sorry, a capitalist economy. You can also say market economy. Some people find that easier. So either answer is correct. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? Benjamin Franklin. He was a U.S. diplomat. A U.S. diplomat. Okay, let's move on. There are three branches of government. Three branches of government. Okay. Name one branch or part of the government. So we have three branches. For this question, you just need to name one branch or part of the government. 
here. I chose Congress. Congress. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? We have checks and balances. Checks and balances. What is the rule of law? What is the rule of law? The rule of law is everyone must follow the law. Everyone must follow the law. Okay, let's talk about the executive branch now. Who is in charge of the executive branch? Who is in charge of the executive branch? The president. The president. Who signs bills to become laws? The president. Who vetoes bills? Who vetoes bills? The president. Who is the commander in chief of the military? The president. <laughs> we elect a president for how many years? Four. Four years for president. In what month do we vote for president? November. November. What is the name of the president of the United States now? Joe Biden. Joe Biden. What does the president's cabinet do? What does the president's cabinet do? It advises the president. Advises the president. What are two cabinet level positions? Two cabinet level positions. Secretary of Defense. Secretary of Education. What are the two major political parties in the United States? What are the two major political parties in the United States? We have the Democratic and Republican parties. Democratic and Republican. And what is the political party of the president now? He is in the Democratic Party. Joe Biden is in the Democratic Party. If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The vice president. What is the name of the vice president of the United States now? Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris. If both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The Speaker of the House. The Speaker of the House. Excellent. Very good. Now let's move on to the legislative branch. The legislative branch is also known as Congress. Congress. Who makes federal laws? Who makes federal laws? Congress. Congress. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and the House. The Senate and the House. How many U.S. Senators are there? How many U.S. Senators are there? 100. 100 Senators. We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Six. Six years for a Senator. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? Who does a U.S. Senator represent? All people of the state. All people of the state. 
And who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? Of course, answers here will vary. You'll need to go to senate.gov to find the name of your senators and just choose one. Okay, moving on to the House of Representatives. Remember, Congress is split into the Senate and the House. So we just talked about the Senate. Now we're going to talk about the House. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? The House of Representatives has how many voting members? 435. 435. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Two. Two years for a representative. Name your U.S. representative. Okay, so here again, answers will vary, and you could get that information by going to house.gov and typing in your zip code. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because of the state's population. Because of the state's population. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Let's move on to the third branch of government, which is the judicial branch. The judicial branch. What does the judicial branch do? What does the judicial branch do? It reviews laws. Reviews laws. What is the highest court in the United States? The highest court is the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine. Nine justices. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? The Chief Justice is John Roberts. John Roberts. Who is the Governor of your state now? The Governor of your state. Of course, answers will vary depending where you live. So you can find out the governor, the name of the governor of your state, or ask below. Moving on to rights and responsibilities. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? So this means only United States citizens can do this. What is one responsibility? That is only for United States citizens. Vote in a federal election. Vote in a federal election. This question is very similar. Listen carefully. Name one right only for United States citizens. Name one right only for United States citizens. And guess what? It's the same answer. Vote in a federal election. Vote in a federal election. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? So here, this is two rights of everyone living in the United States. Any of these? And we have freedom of speech, freedom of religion. Freedom of speech, freedom of religion. What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? You promise to obey the laws of the United States. Obey the laws of the United States. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? How old? 18 and older. 
18 and older. When must all men register for the selective service? When must all men register for the selective service? We have here at age 18 is an acceptable answer. And, but we have heard that many officers like the answer between 18 and 26. So for the selective service, um, say 18, between ages of 18 and 26. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? How can you participate in your democracy? Vote, join a political party. Vote, join a political party. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? When is the last day for federal income tax forms? April 15th, April 15th. What did Susan B. Anthony do? What did Susan B. Anthony do? She fought for civil rights. She fought for civil rights. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? He also fought for civil rights fought for civil rights. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? What movement tried to end racial discrimination? The civil rights movement. The civil rights movement. Okay. We are going to move on to questions about the U.S. wars. Wars. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. The Civil War. The Civil War. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. That is also the Civil War, the Civil War. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. One problem that led to the Civil War, slavery, slavery. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Africans. Africans or people from Africa. What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves. Freed the slaves. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? The Emancipation Proclamation freed the slaves. Again, freed the slaves. Who was president during World War I? Who was president during World War I? That was Woodrow Wilson. So World War I. Woodrow Wilson. Okay, got it. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. World War II. World War II. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? That was Franklin Roosevelt. Franklin Roosevelt. 
Who did the United States fight in World War II? Who did the United States fight in World War II? Japan, Germany, and Italy. So please say all three na- all three countries. Japan, Germany, and Italy. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? Eisenhower was in World War II. World War II. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? The Cold War, the main concern was communism. Communism. What major event happened on September 11th, 2001 in the United States? Terrorists attacked the United States. Let's move on here to U.S. geography. What is the capital of the United States? What is the capital of the United States? That's Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. And what is the capital of your state? What is the capital of your state? And of course, answers will vary here depending which state you live in. Okay, if you have trouble finding that, ask below. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? East coast, the Atlantic Ocean. East coast, Atlantic Ocean. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? The West Coast. The ocean on the West Coast. The Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean. Name one state that borders Mexico. Name one state that borders Mexico. Okay, you have four choices here. I chose California. California borders Mexico. Name one state that borders Canada. Name one state that borders Canada. Lots of choices up north here. And I chose New York. New York borders Canada. Where is the Statue of Liberty? Where is the Statue of Liberty? In New York or New York Harbor. New York. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. I chose the Missouri River. The other river is called the Mississippi River. Okay, so whichever river you can pronounce easier the Missouri River or the Mississippi River. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Louisiana, Louisiana. Name one U.S. territory. Name one U.S. territory. We have five here to choose from. I chose Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Another easy one is Guam. Guam. Couple holidays here. Let's see. Name two national U.S. holidays. Name two national U.S. holidays. New Year's Day and President's Day. New Year's Day and President's Day. When do we celebrate Independence Day? Which is another choice. (laughs) When do we celebrate Independence Day? Independence Day we celebrate on July 4th, the 4th of July, right? 
And there you have it all, 100 civics questions. Please, please remember that the civics test is only one part of your whole naturalization interview. It's also very important to review your N-400 application and organize all your documents. Please leave questions and comments below. And as always, we will do what we can to help you find the answers you need. Thank you for joining me today. If you like this video, thumbs up, please subscribe, yada, yada, yada. We appreciate your support. We really, really do. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.